Welcome everybody, welcome to another episode of Spanish Rice and Fried Chicken. For uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome all of our guests that are here on the show as of now. Welcome RJ the Chosen, everybody. We got my sister here, Lisa Wet I do. Yep. And you already know me, man. I'm the official Brown Terrence Howard, man. So we'll, before we go straight into the show, I definitely want to start saying thank you to all the supporters, everybody that is, watches us from home. You know, you guys make it happen. Thank you guys for the love that you guys showed up for uh, the Vegas vlog. I'm extremely, extremely grateful for all the love that y'all show. And with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, don't forget to share. Now let's get right into the show. The first topic of today, we're talking Diddy. We're talking Diddy, y'all. No Diddy. So what are our thoughts on a uh, thousand bottles of baby oil in KY? How That's do we feel? That's hella baby oil. I hella, like, hella baby oil. On, man. What about the sex little, the sex room with the sex toys and stuff like that? <laughs> it's crazy, huh? It's, yeah. Man, I just, you know, just a little a little craziness, you know, to, to kind of go... And what we're dealing with, but yeah, man, you know, in my opinion, shit. How do we feel? Is he gonna, you know, get the book on this? Like, how is this gonna go legally? Sheesh. I mean, just like RJ was saying earlier, he said hella people might come out, huh? Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people. I think there's still a lot of people in there, man, hiding. A lot of people are staying quiet. They're just waiting to see, like, fuck, it was my name gonna come out. So, question: What would you guys do if you guys were wit? Missing a freak off at Diddy's house. Pause. Whew. Pause. I'd be hella traumatized. Like, I mean, talk oh. about trauma right there, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about trauma. Oh, PTSD shit. type trauma Man, shit. That oh. Shit, I would have to. No, go. you're good. I, I, I'm going to have to, like, you know, cut this up and then, you know, obviously, you know, put in the buzzers and beeps and stuff. But it's good. It's good, you know. But, I mean... You would be traumatized. What about you, RJ? Shit. Uh, that, that's some crazy stuff, man. I'll have to... I know, As soon as I notice something freaky, weird shit, stuff, I'll just have to, like, you know what? I'm out this bitch. I'm right. out this. <laughs> I'm out this. But if I see something that... Just alone, drugging somebody, like... Nah, that's not cool. That's not right. Most definitely it, is know, not right. The, there's... People do drugs because they decide they want to try something different, not because someone is forcefully doing it right. and then Correct. using it to manipulate. Nah, that's that's a foul shit. So, right. so mm. now that you said that, it, using the baby oil, my next question is very crucial. How much baby oil is too much baby oil? Well, I mean, it's a valid question, ladies and gentlemen. How much, <laughs> how much baby oil is enough? Baby oil. I mean, goddamn. One bottle, bottle, man. One bottle. Yeah, one man. bottle. One bottle is enough. Bottle. Like half a bottle. You, you gonna use? Uh, damn, I might even go ask half. how you know what I do, but that's that's cool. That's cool. You <laughs> know, I'm judge. Half a bottle. Half a bottle. Yeah. Half a bottle. Because, like you said, a bottle is kind of a lot. Kind of OP. Yeah, I mean, bro. When I, I had a baby oil when my daughter was born, and I that was one and the only one I've ever bought. I didn't have to get more. I, that shit lasted forever until it expired. And I. Wait, does it expire? What, the I'm baby oil? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, right? Baby oil does have an expiration date, I, I, I would assume. Mm. But then again, I don't know because it's just oil. Maybe that's a question that we could leave for the uh, people out at home. Let us know if baby oil expires. I mean, <laughs> so those I of you that use it, you dirty, I wonder dirty how, people. The question is. How did this nigga get away with that shit? Go into the store and buy mad shit? Or did he just like, you know what? Let me empty out Amazon's cart and buy all the oils. Yeah, the purchases might be crazy. But I, I think he probably got it delivered to his house. You know, because he probably got it wholesale. He said, you know what? Let me go straight to the person. <laughs> Fuck the distributor. <laughs> let me go to Costco me? real quick. No, no, no. Let me get the wholesale. Yeah, have that delivered to my house. The middle where nobody man. see. Cut out the middleman. Yeah. On to the second topic of today. I know everybody loves that Diddy topic, but we're here for a good time, not a long time. You know, I. So we talking about Kamala Harris. Kamala, I said it right for all you Kamala fans. Kamala Harris campaign office out in Arizona, Tempe, Arizona, to be exact, got shot up. Do we feel like it was staged? Mm. 
Mm. How do I we feel about, about the it. Trump assass- assassination attempts? Do we think it's too it's too too close for my comfort? Too close for my comfort. That you get it? Too close for my comfort. Mm. It's just I mean, you fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, fuck the peace signs. <laughs> let the chopper let it rain on you. Come on, baby, you feel me? So I mean, the fact that he got attempted on twice. Right, and Kamala Harris got attempted on twice too at this campaign office in Arizona. Wow. Apparently, they got hit back in September nineteenth, and then they got hit on this recent Monday that just passed. So, I, do you guys? What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's set up? Mm-hmm. So, obviously, we feel like it was staged. Maybe not. Some more than than. Oh, damn! I'll probably put this up right in the in, in everybody's face. My bad. Uh, good thing we have two angles. You're forgiven. But uh, for the second question of today, right, why that Arizona campaign office? What's so special about that specific area? I mean, Arizona, is it's like a, it's a swing state, you know. So, you know, Harris and Trump, they're definitely fighting to take control you know, of that win land. Arizona. Well, the same thing with California, but I feel like, like we said in the previous podcast, California is more of a blue state. That is very true. Which very I, true. Is, is wild to me. Yeah. But definitely Arizona, you know, there's like, it's a predominantly Republican state, but there are chances where it could flip blue or it could stay red. So I feel like both Trump and, and Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris are fighting to win that state, you know, because it's definitely. like a, they get a lot of electoral votes out of the out of them. Um, that's a good question, though. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a reason why it's so special, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why that specific location? There's something going there's on. There's something going on in Tampa, Arizona that we they don't want us to know. Right. You know? And, uh, but yeah, man, let's get to the bottom of that. We The people need to know. We need to know what's going on in Tampa, Arizona, man. We Are we going to let that shit get shot the fuck out? I think uh, we could cuss now, so we could, we could continue with our day. Fuck chat. <laughs> And it now, was overnight too. That's a good thing. Nobody was injured. It was so thank overnight. God. So no. imagine it's overnight. So they knew that nobody was going to get injured, and it happened two times, right? Within a month, a span of a month. It was set up, man. Set up for sure. Yeah, it's got to it. be. I yeah. said it. It was set up. It has sense. to be. It has to be, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way that this, you know, and this is all to kind of get everybody aroused. Well, I got shot up too. Nah, honey, it doesn't count. My boy got shot up in the ear. In public television. And then he did the... USA. USA. That's crazy, Make America bro. America great That's again. a patriot. Patriot of America. That's what you call, like, a warrior, guys. And he did a whole display <laughs> on national television. This is crazy. Now, for my next <laughs> question. Crazy. Do we feel that we may see a possible assassination in the near future due to mm. both assassination attempts with Trump and both shootouts? In this near location over there at Tempe Arizona. To be honest, I feel like there may be uh, not necessarily an, an assassination attempt towards Kamala, but probably to her running mate, who's that that white guy Tom Tom Waltz or something like that. Is that, is that why do you, why do you, you know? say that? Uh, I feel like people would feel more. I don't know. I feel like the person or like the gunman would feel probably bad for trying to assassinate a, a female. The first future female president if she will ever get elected just in case y'all don't know now you're gonna know i don't feel that they care that if she's a female she's gonna get shot the fuck up <laughs> if she's not careful that would with suck. all due respect with all due respect of course yeah. as being a female doesn't it shouldn't even matter to people if they want to have her become president you know your gender doesn't matter it's what you can do to the country how you can make our lives better so i'm gonna ask you this how do you feel that camilla's gonna make the country better Sheesh, man. I heard that she didn't even have a plan on her website, dude. She has no <laughs> she has type no of plan, idea. Dude. <laughs> she has no, I- she oh, has no idea what she's doing. Uh, and this is that my, part. obviously, my, my representation is my opinion. Uh, she has no idea what she's going to do. And keep in mind, she messed up, her and Biden administration messed up everything that we are dealing with now, which is why we are in a recession. Whether people would like to believe it or not, we are in a recession. First and foremost, you know, so we got to get our bread up. We got to be able to get our money up and the economy up, start living the American dream once again. So uh, shout out to Trump. You know, most of y'all going to hate me on that. But, hey, 
He's the that, only motherfucker who's going to keep it real to your face 24 times. Yeah. If he's telling you I'm lying, he's going to let you know I'm <laughs> lying. And there's exactly. no other way about it. You know, he knows he runs this shit. So let's uh, right. let's just make it happen. All Prevent right? World War Three too. We cannot, we should, we should not be going into an all-out world war, man. Peace to everybody. Peace and love to everybody. I, re- I definitely, you know, I don't believe in, you know, any type of war, any type of negativity towards a specific area. You know, I... I just pray that everybody finds a resolve soon. Um, now, on to the third topic of today. We're talking police brutality out in Fontana. Fontucky. Uh, so, no, Fontana, California. They call it fun- Fontucky, though. Oh, Fontucky? Yeah, where I'm at. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. Wait, so, Fontucky? I don't know oh, if you okay. guys seen the video. Did you guys saw the video? No. No, I didn't get to see no? it, like, completely. So, I'm going to paint a picture. Show me. Because I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a paint a picture, and while I'm painting the picture, I'm going to try to play the video somewhere here. Right right here, right? So, for the, yeah. the story I'm about to paint, we had uh, 1051, which is uh, a mentally distressed uh, person, a uh, mentally ill person. Uh, that's what we call it at the job site. Um, with a metal rod, and he was swinging it towards a, a patrol unit, and then swung it at an officer. Swung it. Key words. Swung it. Did not hit. Swung it. Police reached for his firearm. Discharged one round. Hit this guy. Once the guy was on the ground after he was shot, the police officer proceeded to get on top of this man and just give him the Donkey Kong, bro. Just what, what, what? You know, just wail on him, bro. That's which is crazy. Bad. And for those watching yeah. at home and you guys are watching this video that I'm about to put up, just know. This police officer is going to face some serious repercussions because it was all on camera, baby. Oh. It was all on camera. They got now, that camera on their body nah, and there's like it. other surveillance don't cameras in the area. Now I'm asking. Witnesses. Don't, doesn't it feel like we've been down this road before? Hell of times, man. There's police Rodney brutality King. everywhere. He's done. George Floyd, he's, he's done with, right? Yeah. Do we expect anything different from this? We keep asking for change and we keep getting the same shit over and over again. That's probably, you know, uh, speaking of, um, you know, like Kamala and Trump running for, you know, the presidency, I feel like this is going to be like another defund the police type movement. And it should be. Especially here in California. It should be, you know. And, you know, sorry for the ghetto birds because we are in the hood. But like I said, it should (laughs) be. It should be taken care of accordingly because, God damn, bro, that's, it's fucked up. When you're looking at the video, you know, and I get it, you know, the the dude's going to, you know, I'm scared for my life. He had a metal rod and he was gonna swing it towards me and kill me. You know, I have kids at home. I could imagine. But to what extent are we taking it, people? Like, when is it okay to pull out your weapon and and discharge it at somebody? Right. Without the obviously the main reason that you're being violently attacked, like to death, like you're physically in harm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like. Do you guys wonder why he had that metal rod in the first place? Like who he was gonna try to attack? Why do homeless people carry a fucking rod in the first place? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good ass question. Homeless people. They're carry on a PCP. Lot of stuff. They're on fentanyl. <laughs> yeah. They're on a bunch Sad. of hell, different hella drugs, and they just they're on a sick one. Mm-hmm. They see metal rods in the trash, they take it, and they start swinging it towards people. They feel like they got a they got a sword in there in the medieval times, bro. You know what I'm saying? These people fight amongst each other. Amongst each other, yeah, exactly. There's been several stabbings in California just because of homelessness. I've seen that. Yeah. Moving into a specific area, uh, ter- ter- territory. Now, for the second question of this, well, I didn't ask you as a question. For the first question, actually, how do we feel about the situation now that I've painted it vividly? I feel like the cop didn't have to kill that guy. I mean, he could have just restrained him, you know. But that's with a lot of other cops nowadays today, you know. They don't they don't have to go to the extent to kill somebody because you're losing your job, you feel me? Like, you went to school, <coughs> you had to go through all the trainings that you had to go through. Man, you lose your job because you're yeah. angry at somebody. I mean, I, I got friends, you know. So I know people that work in the police department sheriff department and they be in situations and man like you know there's got to be a reason you know what i'm saying like they if there's a weapon and their life is in danger or somebody else is in danger they got the right to, the 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 
defend themselves, you feel me? But if it's a poll, I mean, I'm pretty sure the officer wasn't there alone, right? There was other people No, there. he had a backup. There was two guys there. So, I mean... They could have handled this situation twenty different, different times. Somebody like could have went in there and tackled situation. him. Somebody could have went in Something, there and bro. took one for the team and got whacked. You know what bro, I'm saying? So it's barely gonna hurt. You know, it, probably I mean, gonna it's gonna to hurt, him. but it ain't gonna hurt. kill you. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Uh, right. But and, the, and, and just so you guys know, the guy that was attacking the police officers, he didn't. He didn't make it. Unfortunately, he did pass away on his way to the hospital. Oh, the the guy that the, was getting the homeless guy. Oh, he passed shit. away on his way to the hospital. He didn't even make it to the hospital. Oh yeah, and then you see in this video like how roughly this police officer was treating him. Now, what would we have done differently in this situation? How would we treated this situation? What do you mean we? If we, we were police officers. Oh. If we were, let's put ourselves in those situations. Let's prove like that I said, this needs to go to court some way, shape, or form. Like I said, someone should have took one for the team. I mean, being in the situation there, shit, I probably would have tried to be the hero. <laughs> I don't know. I put it like I got a taser, right? You could use a taser. You would have, you know, million ways, bro. If but he was on, like the pepper spray, you know what I'm saying? Pepper, pepper spray the fuck out of his eyes, and then have the other guy rush him from the side. Yeah, you know, detain him, right. detain him, detain him, detain him. Hand the police him. needs more training. You know, the sheriff's department. How how come you don't hear many incidents? Like nah, the it's because they scared. That's why. Mm. That's why they're shooting. Yeah, I mean, shit. It they shouldn't be in that field. They just shooting. There's a lot more liability that they carry, a lot more responsibility, I feel like. So you don't really come across those kinds of, you know, like, stuff on the news regarding, oh, sure, versus a, a PD, you know, from Fontana, like in this case. Okay, so let's, uh, let me ask you this then. What's up? What needs to change in order for this to stop? Because Shit, we've been going man. back and forth with the same thing over and over and over again. Like besides, more besides more training besides more training well yes besides, besides more training hold on hold on hold on we got my boy mucho in the building yeah hey I, I know how to use the sound you know the sound the oh, sound you, thing now you so sit. i don't even got a clap yeah you don't even got i mean we're gonna hear it but you got some claps you got a standing ovation brother you got a standing hey. ovation hey. My yes sir hey what's nice let's see if you can fit up in this couch it's, it's not I'm the okay casting couch that. i'm okay with that oh, we, oh there you go we're gonna pass it uh counterclockwise appreciate it <laughs> you, fit, you fit over here yeah you fit but come on man try to yeah, try to pop us pop a squat somewhere here come man. on man no diddy no I'm diddy yeah you missed the diddy talk brother <laughs> we'll probably well, have he, to get your thoughts on it briefly you would have went off on that shit we had some good questions off of that Hey, uh, you got that Arizona? Camera. Uh, so we got one right here and we got one right there. All right, cool. So this, this is cool. All right, we gotta get that Arizona sponsorship. Can we oh, show yeah. that to the cameras? Oh yeah. yeah so time I'll for our sponsors. But I ain't gonna show y'all the name yet till they holla at us. You feel me? Yeah, y'all gotta holla at us <laughs> till they see. If this was actually a sponsor, <laughs> this is a world famous. Oh fuck! Clap clap. <laughs> the fucking mic stand. <laughs> the battery. You okay? The battery died. Fucking sure. I, that's that's the mark though, the cameras. <laughs> so uh, that's how I. I uh, cause Roger, you straight, gang? You uh huh. Don't Yo, do that. you think we could get two double A's? Clapping. All right, cool, 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 cool. So as you guys may see already, unfortunately, our mics have died. We lost batteries, and Twice. Uh, you know, but it, it's nothing we can do with a good thing, baby. You Is feel that the me? The old jizzle. We got O in the building. Triple yeah. O jizzle. What's oh, going on yeah, with you, yeah. here? Yeah. We, we, we need some, what do we need, batteries? Batteries, Double yeah, A's or double something. A's. Yeah. Which is cool, though, because, I mean, luckily, everything is right here. And y'all will probably still hear us. So I, I do ain't going to cap, though. This is, I, I like this better than the, the outdoors. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's chill. It's home. It, no, it, it just looks crazy. I think it's because of black backdrop. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. The couch, you know what I mean? The table with the black cloth on it. Not like that. I don't need y'all to know all our business. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It looks really, it has like a aesthetic of a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know You're doing I'm something, saying? ladies and gentlemen. Right. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Now we're like going to have to clap, guys, because we don't have the, the, the sound thing. <laughs> All right, so let's go back into the. You don't think people are getting awards back here? Yeah. <laughs> I 
Oh, mijo. Hey, we all get in the woods. Everybody get a pat on the back. First and foremost, shout out to RJ for his new release song. We're going to yes, get to cool. it. Hey. And let's, get, let's give a round of applause to the Spanish Rice and Fried Chicken team for, you know, getting back in the kitchen. We got a lot of stuff coming, y'all. A lot of stuff coming. So, just, we do hope y'all enjoy this, man. Super ugly. Now, let's go back into the topic, right? We we're mm -hmm. talking about police brutality in Fontana. For those Talk of you that... that oh, so, I kind of already gave a rundown. Yeah. But just kind of a little speed through. Basically, it was a homeless man, mm -hmm. right, who swung a metal rod towards a, a police car and then swung it towards a police officer. The police officer didn't hold anything. He shot the guy and then got on top of him and beat the fuck out of him. Why would he do that? Uh, I, I, we gotta ask that police officer that same That's question. Well, I ain't question, asking though. them shit now, playing. <laughs> but but look, am I tripping? Or are the police more on all of a sudden? They are. Yeah. Am I tripping? I like they said, they're, they they're scared. The nah, bro. I think they funding kicked back in. No weird shit. Because I don't know their business like that. I'm, I'm not a fan of Well, I mean, think about it. <laughs> like, what, what's coming I, up? I have to cover. But I heard though. What's coming up? Like, yeah, you can feel the vibe. Like you what's know, coming up driving? though? I've been That's pulled over shit. already, bro. I've been, I, and then after I got pulled over, I seen another car get pulled over on the way home in that same city. It was three to four more mm -hmm. cop cars just zooming around. I'm like, bro, they don't never like do it that way. I'm not saying they're not around. They just don't do it like that. So question, like they right? hella sneaky. Question though, question though. They're aggressive. What's that part? What's coming up? The election, but I don't. But do you think that that has exactly. something to do with it? Because of I think something about exactly. the funding. We, we just actually talked about what happened over yeah. there in Arizona uh, at. Oh, Kamala so you're trying Harris. to say like what they're uh, responsible for? Like we've what? already brought down crime eight point zero percent in the last month. Oh, well, shit. due to the last couple protests that we've had, and then been Trump protests and also Kamala protests, uh -oh. they have gotten very, very. Even I have his own camera. Very. You just look so stupid. Very. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's very. Uh, you know, not. You good, man? You know, it, it's just the way that California reacted, or California reacts to certain shit. We kind of OD on specific situations. So when I mean like when people because as of now, I think I'm the only Trump supporter right here. Anybody uh, else? Trump, I am. Trump supporter? Trump hey, supporter? Let's pump this shit. Well, not, I'm moderate. Not not Trump supporter, but who's voting for Trump? I'm, I'm moderate. For I'm not guys. voting for anybody as of now. You're voting for Trump 2-0? Yeah. So think about it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know if I'm going to vote this year. Man. Yeah, me neither. We, no, no, but, this is a cost I mean, if, Even if we do I, I want to vote for someone. Even if we don't vote. This is the this is a question I want to ask you. Even if we don't vote, who do we want to win? Okay, so this is what I was not Kamala. told. This is what I was exactly. told. This is what I was told. Y'all tell me what y'all. Let me hear. Let me hear. Y'all tell me what y'all like. Yes. What y'all would say. So somebody said, if you had a 15 year old daughter mm -hmm. and an eight year old daughter, mm -hmm. and there was only two teachers available, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, who would you want to teach your daughter? Don Trump. Trump. That's interesting. Why? I would. <laughs> you wouldn't right. Good. You wouldn't right. Like, I'm, just, you, but I'm being honest. But let's like, keep it a buck though. A classroom aesthetic is different from running the country, the country. aesthetic. Exactly. But, but I see they're where you're in charge from. of our future. So that's why they use. But the, the future, future, that future is our children. It's the next four years, and it's our children. I feel like so our children lives are in the hands. Of the current president that sets okay. the tone. Now that you put it that way, the next now that you presidency. put it that way, I retract yeah. my statement. I do trust this man with my children. Why? Because right. it, from the point of 2016 till four years after, mm -hmm. the economy wasn't fucked up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The daddy was getting some fucking very special, mm -hmm. you know, stuff because I was serving in the military. You feel me? And he so took care of business. 2020, correct? 2016 to 20, uh, 2020, 2020, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so check it. All that, we weren't in no war. Israel and, and, and Palestine was going on, but it was not as fucking blown out as it is now. Like Israel now with Lebanon. And Lebanon, it's exactly. Crazy, uh, China has gotten closer <coughs> to Taiwan and in, in, in attempts to try to take over that, that, that property, right? Ukraine and Russia would have was not happening. It was not even foreseen to happen around right. the time that Trump was in the election. It was up to the point that Biden was in office. The first year, we hear all this shit. Russia wants to fuck up Ukraine. Mm. Afghanistan falling to the Taliban. To the, and the way that we withdraw, bro, we lost 13 Americans, and that's fucked up. 
under the Biden administration. <clears throat> That's on their hands. Okay. So what would you say if I told you that Trump signed the Coronavirus Relief Act in January 2019? Before we even knew there was a such thing as a coronavirus. Well, let me tell you this. This isn't the first time the government was like, so, you so know. it's but bigger than Trump. But hey, he did he did he make those uh, yeah. documents it's public? Than Trump, oh, yeah, right? For sure. Did he make those those it's, things public though? It, it, Most of the records that he did sign, and in fact, there are public records. You could go online and see them. Yeah, they, they any other there. president, you're not going to be able to find it. I guarantee that. That that may be true, but the timing is definitely a thing, and I'm going to tell you why it's a thing. When you first heard of COVID, COVID was supposed to be way the fuck in March Air Force Base, five people. <laughs> We have them. We have them quarantined. Yeah, five people. How the fuck <laughs> does it go from five people <laughs> to over a million deaths in the United States alone and all over the world? Like, bro, how the fuck is this happening? Y'all lying. That's at the end of the day. This shit was already true. going it's on true. over it's there so in, in China, my guy. There was this movie on on Netflix for a while, like when COVID came down. I forgot what was the name. It was like a. A, a Chinese show. Speak a little louder, please. Uh, it was a Chinese show, and um, it showed everything about COVID, how it got into somebody. I think it's called contam containment or con something like that. I think I know it's a Japanese. It's a Japanese film. It's Isn't a Japanese. It? Dialogue. Yet, I watched it in, with the subtitles. Subtitles, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And it's all about basically and this outbreak. Was before it's called outbreak. I think. Before COVID came out, yeah, it was on on Netflix, and yeah. then it started getting popular. That they took that show down. Mm. <coughs> they love doing that. Oh, yeah. Y'all think the coronavirus is staged? Yeah. Well, what think about it. <coughs> the Mr. Simpsons e. came up with it. Simpsons came up with a lot of things. How do you think they found out? When I was a kid, there was a movie called Outbreak. And it was about monkeys that had some shit. And they all got <laughs> fucked everybody else over that. There you go. There's that they movie got too. in contact with mm -hmm. them. So, you know what I'm saying? I was already scared of all this shit since I was a kid. <laughs> so, this shit to really be happening. And that's where your trauma through. started. Yeah, that's where my trauma started. Trauma. But, trauma. But, but as we went through COVID, I wasn't even tripping on COVID because it was like, I'm not going to touch it. I got gloves on. Look, I'm before used to COVID, it. I always had a little, country. small, little bottle of sanitizer. And I would always... Put that when I touch money. I'm at the gas station because I'm always smoking. You feel me? I want to make sure I'm about to start yeah. swabbing. But I got so mad I couldn't find my little sanitizer when COVID hit. <coughs> the whole the whole six feet apart is just my bubble space. You know, I'm what sorry, sis. there's no need for it. Sorry, it's too much like, for me right now. The whole mask <laughs> was fucking up my beard. I was in my feelings, but. Nah, fuck all that. Yeah, try to blow the smoke somewhere weird. else. Well, please, please not, because I'm, I'm not trying to be exposed to this secondhand. <laughs> hey, no, but I'm just dying because I want you to keep that on the podcast. Keep this it on the podcast. She said, please, because. And you you want me, me to keep this? Yeah, that part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can even do the little stupid sensor thing, like, and then just come back to it, like, clap. 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 <laughs> all right, we back. Yeah. yeah, nah. <laughs> totally fucked that. RJ, <laughs> let's talk about yourself. Tell us about yourself, my brother. You got some merch on your head right now. We got Smokey Mom, my yeah. brother. Smokey what is Smokey Mom? Tell us about that. That's my brother's brand right here, man. It's a little thing we started. It's more than just a brand. Um, yeah, tap in. We got hoodies, shirts. Shout out to Smokey Mo, man. Yeah, zoom man. into that. If I, oh, I'm going to try to zoom into that. But, mm -hmm. You know, look into that. Man. Boom, boom, boom. That's That's hard. Hard. Anything Pokemon work. and weed oh, related. You feel me? It's yeah. a mixture of Moan Mon. <laughs> yeah, Smokey Mon. Got to smoke it all. Oh, yeah. Gotta that's smoke hard. them all. You did? Gotta smoke, yeah. You got to smoke them all. Smoke so them all. that's a part of the slogan. So, you know, you know tell, us, tell us about yourself. How old are you, my brother? You know, what? Are, I'm old. Oh, oh! So you, we ain't trying to disclose that. My man said, "I'm old." I'm old. So, am I? I don't know. How old is? How old? How old do you think I am? Uh, Thirty. You said what? He said twenty-four. Twenty-four. Right, he's trying to. He's trying God to ride. God bless you. So. God bless you, brother. You do. I'm twenty-six. Twenty-six. Damn. God bless you so too. <laughs> you. You know. Yeah, me too. he knows. Thirty-five. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I said 33. Yeah. 33? Yeah, Papa. But you're 35. Fuck you. You, you look me, young, Papa. 
I'm not even 35 yet. <laughs> this nigga gave me five more years. Damn. How old are you? 30. 30. Yes, sir, I'm a 94. Oh, that's uh, old. Uh, how old are you? That's the beard. 37. 37. How old are you? 26. Four. Oh, you 37? I'm 37. 28. Black don't crack, my man. Don't crack. That's why I'm winning it. <laughs> How does it look? I, nah, I didn't even think you'd be 37. Like early yeah. 30s. Yeah, that's all right. I like I'll take that. I'll like take 31. that. That, yeah, I thought like your mind is like in their thirties. I thought you were thirties. Yeah, so. I, 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 that, that That's how when y'all were twenty six, I was just thinking like, fuck, what was I doing when I was twenty six? Life was going fast by then. Is yes. that the twenty five, my nigga? I'll never forget like that. This. I'll never forget that ever I, again. I, I, I remember 20, I was 21, like, 22, and then it was like, 23. <laughs> like, what the fuck, <laughs> nigga? All the way till now, like flash. Twenty five was yesterday, bro. Compared to where it took to get to 25, like, I can't wait till I'm 18 in here. I can't wait till I'm I want to drink something. Nigga, and then 25 hits, and you're like, I'm young, I'm never old, I'm young. And next thing you know, it's just like, I'm 31, I'm 33, I'm 90. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> said, I'm 90. So this shit is So with nasty. that being said, y'all, so enjoy your life. <laughs> you feel me? Enjoy this shit. Don't, don't feed into the bullshit. Yeah, for real, yeah. for real. You feel me? No time for that you know, negativity. Yeah, because God is good. Enjoy that. Shit. You feel me? We, we just want to peace, 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 peace and love, man. So, RJ. Tell me. What's, uh, do you have any upcoming projects, anything that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. On October 1st, I'm releasing my first single, Coming Back With Something Hot. You, you heard know. that? You heard that? He's Inside releasing it. a single October 1st. October 1st, my brother. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's on a Tuesday. Uh, that's no, hard. that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Because, trust me. October 1st, no, Tuesday is cool. Like that. It's the 1st of October, though. I don't know. I don't know why, but this it's this rent. this fall, bro, is it's oh, definitely rent. They gotta pay rent. They gotta <laughs> yeah, they pay get rent. But, 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 but I know I'm pretty sure they pay for that Spotify already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Spotify's what I'm saying. Taking care of. That's so. what I'm saying. You want you want to? Uh, he has a good point there. They can listen to you while they struggle. Before you expose, yeah. <laughs> before. I was success to everybody. Be with success to everybody. My bad. Before baby. he exposes <laughs> the name of his song, I need that clip. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get you that okay. clip. Before we expose the name of your song, do you have anything upcoming? Anything for your fans to know? Anything for them to look uh, forward to? Yeah, man. I got a couple new collabs coming out with a couple artists. Got uh, a pretty big project coming out with a team. We're working hard, Red Magic Entertainment. Red Magic, baby. Yeah, Red with Magic, Ozzy baby. And Mexico, and, uh, Melo, the Galactic Mind. Melo. Tamo Activo with Nine Vision. Nine Vision. Tamo Activo, you know. Hey, so, hey, you know, I'm I'm very, very, very happy to see you back in the game. My no, I appreciate that, you man. I me? appreciate that. I'm you really know, excited. I, I, I remember the, the beginning, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, we're coming, we yeah. coming back smarter. Harder. Harder. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Man. So. We got goals. It's, it's, it's a mission. Now, expose to us. The masterpiece that you dropping on the first of October, my brother. Uh, it's called Vine por ti. Vine por ti. I'm Which coming means for I'm you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. This is kind of like a love song, no, right? No, Not a love song. No, it's more like a little. I'm coming up. Perreo, you would say. Kind of like a little reggaeton, little. So you heard it? Yeah, I really do rock with it. I have the melody in my head. Hey, that's right. <laughs> No, yeah, 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 yeah. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. No, you got it, you got it, you got it. I'm a butcher of things, my brother. <laughs> Jo, was he right? Yeah. That's all. That's all. Yeah, you, see, that's all. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I like you that. did. I wasn't on you. Mm. You're so. You heard it too, right? You were paying attention to it. Mm. It was playing. Hey, it was hella catchy. Yeah. Yeah, the, I'm telling I you, that. that's yeah. I'm hot. no. We could replay it for sure, and replay, then maybe you can send me the the, the clip too, and we'll tr include it into the actual show, right. okay. so they can, everybody sure. can kind of get that little sneak peek. Maybe right. we'll cut a little half of that, you know, half of half of that, so that way you kind of get a little bit more we'll exposure on your TikTok. You know, we yeah. were just trying to get a, a video up today. You feel me? Oh yeah, um, and you know, <laughs> it was it's gonna be a vibe, bro. It's gonna push, bro. Uh -huh. I love that 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 real. Make sure you guys go check it out. What, what's your name over there on that platform? Uh, RJ the Chosen. RJ the Chosen. I believe. 
same same as Instagram? No, Instagram is RJ Official with a double Y. RJ Official with double Y. Make sure you guys go check him out on IG on all platforms. You too. You hear me on TikTok? He's RJ the Chosen. Yes, sir. Do you have a Facebook? Anything you wanna? You know, YouTube. Yeah, I got I got all that. RJ. RJ's RJ this is all the Jay so. chosen. Now nah, we'll have to get back to you on that. Oh, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to clap that. Clap 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 clap. <laughs> so hey, game you came just in time, my brother. Oh no, you already know what time it is, baby. Oh no, no, the heartbreak. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen boys, boys and, and girls. girls. Dogs and whores. Hold on, I think Ferg got y'all. I do got y'all today because I got some, you know, for the ladies, something very intellectual, you feel me? I want to get in y'all feelings. I want to make sure y'all are mine and telling yo, man, I love you. It's I crazy. love you, Juwan man. Yeah, I love you, Juwan man. <laughs> you don't know where that's from, man. Uh. No. Oh, you blew it. You hey, blew I'm it. a butcher. He blew I'm it. A butcher. No, no, no. It's just, it's... <laughs> So Juana Man is a movie about a, a dude who gets cut for the NBA. Oh, so he, fuck. <laughs> Kyrie. So he, go, <laughs> so he goes out to the WNBA, puts a wig on, and start balling out, like, That's just because he wants crazy. to play the game and shit. Like, and as a movie, I guess it's like, oh, okay, like, ah, ha, ha, like, whatever. But in, it's in definitely a, ha, ha, ha. In actual retrospect, that would be twisted, bro. Like, you know what nah, I mean? for sure. And start falling in love with one of the teammates and all that. So then at least he was, you know. <laughs> so yeah. guys my question for today is there any way you or your partner can show each other affection that does not involve sex interest go ahead I'm gonna start I'm gonna start uh, from 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 mucho <coughs> interest interest <laughs> interest in that person is like probably key to like what makes people open up to people you okay me? he says interest uh since he said interest i'm gonna say something different because i definitely believe interest but different uh mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. time having time with a person getting to grow with that person being yeah. with them you know for the thick and thin yeah i feel like that's different uh a different way to show affection without show having to get into the sex Please. sis we gotta get her a gas mask or something, man. She's dying back here, my guy. I, I blew it over there. No, it's no, it was, oh, it was me. Me. no, please, please leave that way. <laughs> please, please leave that way. I'm keeping. See that shit? Oh, that's fuck. I'm keeping. No, that shit's hard as fuck. That shit. That shit. Yeah, yeah, I that told you. Hard. I told you, man. You got to smoke. It's great for TV. <laughs> so it's great for TV. What about you, Wada? What's what, what's a way that you can show affection? Obviously, you know. That would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've never been in a relationship, and I want to say that way, but for me, it's honesty and good character. You have honesty to have and things. good character. That Just makes to sense. Talk to you. Okay. Makes sense. What about you? Uh, okay. Hold it. I was gonna say honesty, man. Honesty. I think that's the most important and way to show affection, man. Honestly. So rewriting the question for you guys back at home, what do you guys feel any any type of way? Or maybe you guys could go back on anything that we said, you know, and let us know in the comment section what you guys feel. What's a different way that you can show affection other than sex? And is it just as simple as touching? And is it simple as, yeah. Touching. Touching. Because that's not sex, right? Touching. But it's a sexual, you know. It's it depends sex, where you're it can touching. be stimulating to some people, depending on where. Right. Yeah. Cause so, it, like, you get turned on by just. But it's touch. not sexual. It's, t I, it's touchy. Well, you know, the the law might not agree yeah. with you, my brother. No, I'm just, I'm <laughs> touching, just, it's touching, man. No, I'm just, just saying. <laughs> to touch is a is a part of five senses. Am I right or wrong? Wrong. You're is it right. Just one sense or is it all five? It's a part of the five senses. It's a part. It's a part. Yeah, it's right. A part, yeah. Okay. So touch. 
So I'm not saying like to be like per- you know. Then like, I would love to taste. Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying. I mean, oh. is that is that not that's not sexual? No, because I I could be giving her a kiss. Right, exactly. And, I mean, I will take it. I'm not I'm not, I'm not against that. <laughs> I'm not we'll against. Take, we'll take it. I'll I'm go, not for against it. We'll go for the taste. We'll go for the taste. What about the smell? Since we're talking about senses, that'd be crazy. Smells, Smells, like, because because girls do fall in love over like, oh man, he smells so good. Oh yeah, well, yeah. you know what well, I'm saying. I mean, same Hygiene thing with, is important, so you gotta smell good. Yeah. A nigga has to be clean. Yeah. But you, but you know, there's yeah, some dirty ass motherfuckers out. there. But especially, no, if, yeah. you yeah, no, like, especially if you chubby. Yeah, I check him out the door like. Especially if you chubby. If you chubby. I ain't you gotta watch out with my sis, right? <laughs> I ain't gonna be rude. No, she keep Period. it real. I don't want no dirty nigga up in here. She dirty. Keep it real. She keep uh uh. It real. So uh-huh. you, y'all dirty? <laughs> y'all dirty? No, no scrubbing up there. Get the fuck off this couch. Right. I ain't know, but but chubby niggas, y'all y'all gotta get in between the crevices. You feel me? Y'all gotta get in between the crooks. You feel me? <laughs> y'all gotta double scrub. That's the only way we Triple can scrub. Yeah. <laughs> One layer. He said, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that being like, said, ladies and gentlemen, I wash mine. I wash mine. I wash mine. I wash mine. I definitely wash mine. Okay. Hey, so we have Cam to the end of the show. You know, thank you, RJ. No, thank you, you guys know, for having thank me. You, out here. Thank you to everybody who showed up today. Sweet. Oh, thank you to O for lending thank us you. space as well. Oh, you oh, feel man. me? Red Mask Entertainment. Red you know, we're working coming some through. things in, in, in a lot. A lot of things coming in the future, man. Yeah, yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah, it's real though. We're working some things. We got a lot of things. And that's all I'm gonna say, because I usually like to say too much, but you know, I'm not trying to talk about it too much it's on the, it's on the classified it's on the classified page make yeah, sure you guys go follow yeah, the yeah, patreon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! patreon. <laughs> hey y'all would be hot if we had like that like if we had patreon it was just like your music playing you know, like, <laughs> no you, we you could do that though you didn't even know but it was just like i think that that's what we should use it for to play to be able to play uh music and then not get copywritten for shit you know be able to you know i didn't know they did that like that they can block you for getting copywritten that's hard if they can i mean that's kind of like not like youtube you know how youtube regulations is, is kind of strict. no they're sensitive yeah they don't go on sensitive so with that, that being said worse than social media go ahead though. thank everybody you know for tuning in yeah yeah this camera that camera thank that camera cameras. that nice man it's just thank two me. cameras you know we do. <laughs> thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you no, really, for real really. from the bottom of our hearts we thank you rj thank you for coming no, on the show you. we appreciate having you man we appreciate having this conversation yeah. You know, we had a hell of a show in the beginning. You know, you guys gonna have a mixture with audio and without, or maybe I probably just won't with, put that shit out. Uh, like yeah. With audio, without, with Mojo, without. It's, <laughs> Whatever. This is gonna be a great episode. It's gonna be you an extremely great episode. Because we are who we are. Ain't exactly. nobody like us, man. Right. Ain't not like us. Oh, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Well, it's the summer. It might be the fall. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it might be the might fall. Be the fall. <laughs> might be the fall. Hey, but also look, the Super Bowl. It might be the fall. Hey, the Super Bowl. Let me tell you, you think y'all, y'all before we hop up, y'all think uh that Kendrick is gonna play that song? I think he's gonna come out with a band. The da 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 he's gonna He's gonna yeah. Or maybe play some old songs from his old old album like Poetic Justice and like backseat free uh, Without shit. Drake though, like party justice Ooh. without Drake. In the thunder and rain. No, well for sure he's gonna do it without Drake. But <laughs> right, that's the thing what, is that's that Drake. What's funny is about, that's like what's funny about it. Imagine if he does that song. That's what I'm saying. Like in the thunder and rain. <laughs> and they play <laughs> 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 like, like the marching band is that they all be hard. be hard. Be uh, uh, Mess it on the beat, huh? I don't. I don't think he'll be crib walking, but yeah, I feel you. He'll be doing something. That about walk. Like, he'll be doing the walk. He'll yeah. be doing the walk. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be doing the walk. Yeah. 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 He'll be doing the walk. Yeah. We don't condone the violence. We don't condone. <laughs> you know, we show love. And peace. But that the being violence. said, hey Drake, watch out for the Super Bowl, man. You already know what we got no, coming, Drake man. Yo, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, the official Brown Terrence Hard out here with my family. You did, Lenin Lisa, what I do, mother. RJ the Chosen. RJ the Chosen. Rain and this is Spanish Rice and Fried Chicken. Fair, 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 fair. Fair. Yeah, bitch. Let's go. Clap.
Oh. <laughs> I'll keep it that too. Fuck.